Instagram is starting to promote photos and static posts more. And I have an exciting trick that's going to allow you to create months of content within minutes. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Canva and ChatGPT to create social posts for months within minutes. Hi, I'm Ida, a corporate storyteller and online educator based in Vancouver, Canada. Are you an entrepreneur ready to take your business to the next level, but when it comes to Reels, you don't know how you can use them to grow your business? Well, I've created the Reels Blueprint, which is going to guide you through the gear and the strategy behind using Reels to grow your business. Download my free Reels Blueprint now. So the first thing we have to do is come up with the post ideas. And to come up with the post ideas, I suggest using ChatGPT. If you haven't used ChatGPT to find ChatGPT, all you have to do is go into Google and search ChatGPT and you're gonna see this open AI. And then in here, you can either log in or sign up. Signing up just takes a couple of minutes and all you need is to put in your email and your phone number. It's going to have to send you a code to your phone number and you're gonna have to input it and you're gonna have to access your email address because it's going to have a link in there. So, but as soon as you set it up, it's gonna be easy and then you can just log in. So once you log in, it's gonna ask you if you wanna use ChatGPT. Dale is going to allow you to create images or API, which I don't even know what it is yet. I haven't got there. I'm still on ChatGPT. So we're gonna click ChatGPT. I have the paid version. So you can see when I go into a new chat here at the top, I have the ability to use either ChatGPT 3.5 or ChatGPT 4. The difference between 3.5 and 4 is that 4 is more advanced, but 3.5 is faster. And the other thing with four is that you can only use 25 messages every three hours. So it, it does reset, but if you're going to be using this a lot, then you might want to switch back to 3.5. What I do is I usually start at four, and when it tells me that I've run out of messages, then I go to 3.5. But I do find that four works better than three. So if I want to create three months of social media content, I have to think about how many posts is that? Do I want to be posting every day? So if I want to be posting every day, then that would be 90. If I want to be posting every other day, that would be 45. Let's say I want to post three times a week. There's 12 weeks, so three times 12 is, where's my calculator? I should notice, is 36. Let's round up to 50 because I might not like some of these. So let's ask ChatGPT, give me 50 tips on how I can improve my video production when I'm filming online courses and YouTube videos. So as specific as you can get in this prompt, the more it's going to feel like it's for you. So I suggest taking time to actually writing this out. Now I just wait. So ChatGPT4 does take longer than 3.5 to generate responses, but the responses are typically better, so I strongly suggest if you have the option to use 4, but if not, it's fine. So we're just going to wait for all our results. There we go. So we have all 50. In order to get this to work in Canva, we need to convert this into a specific file that we need to use Google Sheets or any spreadsheet app to create. So I'm just going to go to my Google, and I'm going to go to Google Sheets make a new blank one. Let's title this video production tips. There we go. And I'm just going to want to copy and paste these. Now to export this in the format that we need, we're just going to go to file and download and we want a comma separated value. So there we go. It already saved that. Now we can go over to Canva. In Canva, we're gonna want to first start by designing the template that we're gonna use for all of this. I like this. This way to get it to reflect your branding is just to go to your brand guide and then click on your colors. See, it's gonna shuffle through it. It's not gonna be able to allow me to change this background, so I'm just gonna 
delete that background so that I can have all different colors. There we go. So let's say I like this one. Um, daily, let's update this so it's a video tip. So I'm just gonna zoom in, change the font. Basically you want this to look as much as possible to what, how you want the finished product to look. Um, so let's say I want that a little bit bigger. You can add some more of your, like your branding elements. So now what I want to do is I want to change this quote here so that it changes for all of these. So to do that, I am going to go into my apps and I'm going to go into bulk create. So I can enter manually, just get rid of this download here, or I can upload this CSV file. So I'm going to upload my CSV file. It's right here. Now to link these with this, I'm just going to right click and click on connect data. Now it's going to allow me to pick this. So you can see it's connected this with this. And now I just click on continue. And so it has all the rest of these already made and I can just generate all my pages. So you can see this didn't work out that well with this circle when I made it bigger. So what I can do is I can go in and like fine tune and adjust each of them to make sure that they don't uh, go over there. So I can just move, let's see, there we go. I also suggest like not having them all look the same. And a quick way to change that is just by clicking on it and going to your brand hub and just shoveling through your branding colors. So just go through them one at a time and shuffle through and make them all look different. Make sure everything matches with the text. Honestly, I would probably redo this because it might be faster than to have to adjust this size, but there we go. So there we go. Ooh, I liked that one. Let's try. So now it's just a matter of downloading these. So as I go through them, so I can go to share, download, and it's gonna download all 49 pages for me. I just click download, and then they're all gonna be in a folder for me and I can easily post them. If you want to post and schedule them through Canva, that is also a possibility. You can see here I have my folder with all my quotes. I haven't adjusted all these back here yet, but you get the idea. So see, they all look a little bit different, which is great because everyone's gonna know that I didn't just batch create them all at once. And then if I want to post them onto my social media, then I can use the share button here. And then there's schedule, this is new, or you can do share on media, you can use it either way. So if I click share on media, I can decide where I wanna share it. So say I wanna share it onto my Instagram, I can either post it from mobile app or I can schedule it. So let's say I want to schedule this and I want to post it onto my Instagram. I can decide which page I want to add. And say, for example, I want to go through and I want to add captions to this. So instead of having to write a caption for this, I can go back into ChatGPT. So I'm going to ask ChatGPT to write me an Instagram caption to go along with the tip. So you can ask it to write all the captions about it. You can also ask for a specific length that you want those captions to be. So, cause it was really short the first time there. And so now I can just, let's say, just copy this. Ah, I'm just going to stop generating so I can copy this one, but otherwise I would just continue to let this generate all the way through so I could have it. And then I can go back into my Canva. Okay. So say I want to schedule this one. Let's share that, share on social media, let's share this on Instagram. Let's schedule this. Page one, here's my caption. Okay, so now I just pick the date that I wanna schedule it, done, schedule, and it's going to post it for me with my caption. Now I can look at my content calendar. I can even move around the days. Once I schedule it, I can see all of them and then I can move it around to make sure that it suits my schedule. And so that's how you can build out your content in minutes. And that's a wrap. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you smash that like button or better yet, subscribe. 
Do you want to dive deeper? I have an amazing freebie that's going to transform your business. So download that now. And remember, messy action is always better than no action. Till next time. Peace.